So, because I have somewhere to go, <laughs> I just want to share with you all um, my last post. So, my last post, I was talking about elevation. And the reason why I made that post is because on my way to St. Thomas, the turbulence was kind of a little bit crazy. And I remember just praying to God. I'm like, Jesus, let there be peace. <laughs> let there be, um, you know, no turbulence. Let the turbulence be light. And as I was, as we were going through it a little bit, as it was starting to shake, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, and I wrote it down. It says, um, I am elevating you and it's going to be a steady elevation. Hear me good. I am elevating you. And it's going to be a steady elevation. Now, when I heard that, I was like, okay, God, I hear you. But it wasn't until I got home and last night, I was just up late. And I was like, God, why is this word keep being pressed on my heart that I am elevating you and it's going to be a steady elevation? So if you know anything about me, I love to pull up my dictionary.com. And I like to look up the definition words, whether I know the words or not. So I began to look up two words. I looked up steady and I looked up elevation. So as we know, elevation is the action or fact of elevating or being elevated. The synonyms for that is promotion, advancement, upgrading, exaltation, and growth. That's elevation. Now steady means firmly fixed, supported, or balanced, not shaking or moving. The synonyms for that is stable. Firm, fixed, secure, fast, safe, immovable, unshakable, dependable, unceasing, endless, regular, consistent, continuous, round the clock, stabilized. Hear me good. If God is saying that I am elevating you and it's going to be a steady elevation, Meaning that God is going to be supporting you. It's going to be a consistent support that is going to be unmovable and unshakable. And I found that to be very interesting that God dropped that in my spirit the minute the turbulence started to happen. The minute we kind of got through it a little bit, God is saying, no, you're elevating, but it's going to be a steady elevation. So I don't know who this is for, but I want you to know that God is getting ready to elevate you. And this form of elevation is going to be steady. It's going to be stabilized. Your promotion is not going to be a one hit wonder. Hear me good. You're not going to take flight and come back down. Come on. You're not going to take flight and come back down. This place, this realm, this this area God is taking you in, you are going to stay there and it's going to be consistent. The support you're going to get is going to be consistent. It's going to be unmovable. Your elevation is going to be unmovable. And when I heard that and when I read that, I said, oh my gosh, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. See, when we're elevated, the enemy try to come for us, right? He try to do whatever he can. See, turbulence happen when the winds and the waves and all that extra stuff start to come against the, the plane, right? But see, what God is saying is no matter what the enemy tries in this season, no matter what he tries to do to get you from being up here to down here, it's not going to happen because your elevation is going to be stabilized. I felt that in my spirit. Your elevation is going to be stabilized. Because God's hand is upon you, right? God's hand is upon you in this season, not even in this season, for the rest of this year. God's hand is going to be upon you. So you got to prepare yourself to take flight. You have to be ready for your dreams and your visions to take flight. Because whatever it is you are working on, it is getting ready to take flight supernaturally. And you have to be ready. There's no more you staying on ground level. Come on. There's no more you catching flights that's not leading you to the right destination, which is your destiny. God is saying in this season, your elevation is going to be steady. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be unmovable, unshakable. You have dealt with too many flights where turbulence was taking you out. Come on. You are not going to crash and burn in this season. Hear me good. Where God is getting ready to take you, you're not going to crash and or burn in this season. Because God is saying he has stabilized you in the realms of the spirit. He has angels flying on the side of you in this season. 
in the rest of this year. So I don't know what you've been working on. I don't know what you have been believing God for. I don't know what you have been praying to him for, whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, whether it's some ideas God has dropped in your spirit, even if it's some people on here who is married, whatever it is, just know that it's going to take off and it's going to be stabilized. It's going to be stabilized. You don't have to worry in this season because what God dropped in my heart, I believe that this is for somebody on here too. That man, this is a this is a year of elevation. God is elevating us and it's going to be steady. But guess what's going to keep us there? Humility is going to keep us elevated. Humility is going to keep us promoted. Humility is going to keep us promoted. So I just want you guys to also be careful that when God begins to elevate you and when you start to see certain things take off quickly, that you don't get prideful, you don't get arrogant, you don't start taking the glory for yourself, but you remember that it's because of your humility and because of the pureness of your heart that God is exalting you and God is elevating you. Because the same way God elevates us, he can always bring us down. But that's not what God is trying to do for us in this season. God sees our humility. God sees your sacrifice. God sees the tears that you've cried. He's heard the prayers that you've prayed. He's seen the portrayal. He's seen the people talking about you. He's seen the people that promised to get you to this level, to the next level, and they never came through on their word. He's seen all of that, and God is saying in this season, in this year, man ain't going to take credit for your elevation, but I need you to stay humble. I need you to stay humble because what God is getting ready to do in your life for the remainder of this year is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your daughter's mind. It's going to blow the mind of the people that are watching you because they're not going to believe that you're going to stay in this place for that long. Because when we take a flight, ooh, when we take a flight, it's only a couple hours until we get to our destination. But for God to say that this is going to be a steady elevation, this thing is going to be consistent, that means God wants to keep us up here for a very long time. Amen? God wants to keep us in this place of promotion and advancement for a very long time. I was When I was coming on, before I came on here, because you guys know I don't like to just come on here and open up my mouth, I came across Psalm 75 verses, I believe, 6 to 7. And I love it. It says from promotion come neither from the east nor the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put down one and set up another. So this is why, you know, your elevation is going to be consistent because it's not coming from man. It's going to come from God. But then I also love in Psalms 78 verses, um, I believe verses 70. It says he chose his servant, David, David, calling him from the sheep pen. I said, what? That's the word for somebody today. The same way God called David out of the sheep pen and made him a king. God is getting ready to take you from your, the situation you're in today. And he's about to put you in places you never thought you can be. God is about to take your business idea and make it into a multi-million dollar empire. Hear me good. God is getting ready to do something that is going to blow your mind. You are not going to be stuck where you are because God is calling you forth and God is going to put you in a place of power and authority. This is the kind of elevation God is talking about. God is about to take you in places people thought that you couldn't even go to. You don't even feel qualified to go into these places. God is going to make you a mover and a shaker. God is going to make you a owner, not a borrower. God is about to do it for you. In this realm, in this space of elevation, it's going to be something you have not experienced before. And the beautiful, beautiful thing about elevation, snakes can't go that high. Hear me good. Snakes don't survive in the air. So if there's anybody around you right now, this ain't no snakes on the plane. They can't go with you. If there's anybody in your circle right now that is going to be a hindrance to your elevation, God is getting ready to drop them. God is getting ready to remove them out of your life. Come on, God is getting ready to expose them and then he's literally going to kick them off your plane because they can't go where he's taking you. Because you need to be at peace in this place of elevation. You need to be able to function properly in this place of elevation. You don't have time to be emotional. You don't have time for drama. You don't have time for, for the back and forth. 
You don't have time to be distracted. Come on. You don't have time for none of, that, none of that in this season. Because in this season, in this year, in this hour, God is saying, I'm getting ready to elevate you. And I need you to be able to stay in this place for as long as I need you to be. Amen. Whew. I can't see y'all got in my contacts, so I can't read these comments. <laughs> But I just really wanted to come on here very quickly and just encourage you and just share with you what God was placing on my heart. Because, man, if God spoke that to me, I said, God, you know, I never want to be stingy with a word that you give me. Because if you speaking this to me, I know there is somebody out there who needed this confirmation. I know there is somebody out there who need to know that you're getting ready to elevate them as well because you're not going to elevate me and not elevate my brothers and sisters because it's time for us to start walking and acting and doing things like kingdom kids. It's time for us to be out here in the world, you know, making a noise for God. And we can't do that if we're still on ground level. We can't do that if we're not sitting in a place of elevation. We can't do that. So I just wanted to encourage somebody today and I just want you to know that man, God is getting ready to stabilize your elevation and this place that God is getting ready to take you to, this place of upgrade, this place of promotion and advancement is going to be something that you have not experienced before you are going to feel the favor of God on you. You are going to feel the peace of God. When I tell you, you're going to be like, man, when are we going to land? And God is saying, I want to keep you up here for as long as I can, because I need you to also elevate your thinking. Cause while we're in, cause some of us, the reason why we're not lasting in that place is because our mindset hasn't changed yet. We're still thinking below sea level. We're still thinking like we're on, we're on the ground. But God is saying, I need you to elevate your thinking because this place where I'm taking you to, your mind has to be different. The way you view yourself has, has to be different. The way you view the things that I have called you to do has to be different. Your circle has to be different. Amen. So I just hope that this encouraged somebody today. I hope this was a blessing to somebody today because it definitely blessed me. And I just want to quick, quickly pray for you all. I pray that the, the favor of God will rest upon you. I pray that as God begin to elevate you, that you will remain humble. I pray that there will be no weapon of, of form against you. It will not prosper, that nothing will be able to take you out of your place of promotion, your place of upgrade, your place of advancement. I pray even now that God will begin to send his angels to walk alongside of you that his presence his glory will go with you wherever you go i pray that everything that you are working on today will prosper that he will establish the work of your hands i pray right now that your business ideas are flourishing i pray right now that your ministry is growing i pray right now god that people are seeking you out as you begin to elevate that people the right people will want to be in communication with you i pray right now god oh my god I pray right now that as you begin to elevate, that you will attract other people that will want to elevate with you. I pray that you will attract people that want to help you, not take you down. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that no wind, no wave, no nothing will come against your elevation, that it will not take you out. You will not crash and burn in this place of advancement, that you will know how to function on high. You will know how to stay elevated, that you will not talk God out of elevating you and that you will be fully equipped to handle this place that God is taking you to. I believe this so heavy in my spirit that God is going to do it for you supernaturally and it's going to happen so quick. So I'm praying that God will prepare you, that he will equip you by his Holy Spirit, that you will not be afraid to fly high in him, that you will not be afraid of this new place, that you will not feel like a foreigner, but you will be comfortable in this place of elevation because this is the place that you belong to or in. This is your place. This is your posture. No more of you staying on ground level. No more, you, no more of you being on the ground and looking up. This is your time. This is your hour. This is your season to be elevated in God. You have prayed enough. You have cried enough. You have sowed enough. And God is saying that I am honoring your tears. I am honoring your prayers. I am honoring your sacrifice in this season, this time, this hour. I am elevating you to a place that you've never been before. And this place of elevation is going to be stabilized by the Holy Ghost. Oh, this place of elevation is going to be stabilized by the Holy Ghost. 
and the blood of Jesus is already upon you, you are anointed to be elevated. You hear me good. You are anointed to be elevated the way God anointed David and elevated him. That same oil is flowing on you now. So get ready to move from the back to the front. Get ready to take flight to your destiny. Get ready because God is going to do it for you supernaturally and it's going to happen quickly. And I say this in the name of Jesus. Amen.